Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Luis Souza. This is my colleague Luis Calisto. We work at ISRIC in the Netherlands, an institute that is all about soil information. And we'll be tackling here some of the issues that Ivan raised earlier, but in a much dumbier way, much more sim simple way of doing it. <laughs> all right. So, every day is a good day to bash Mercator, and I think today, yeah. Um, what is Mercator? It's really one of the most important map projections in, in history. It solved a major issue about navigating the high seas, but it's no longer uh, used because the global positioning systems pretty much rendered it useless. However, JavaScript and web mapping brought this projection out uh, back from the dead, and we have to deal with it, and we have to somehow work around yeah, this so-called monstrosity. So what do I want to do is something really simple. I want, on my server, to provide my data in my preferred uh, coordinate system and let the web map, the, the web mapping application simply display those WMS tiles or WMS layers. Now this is easier said than done for one reason. If you work with global data like we do at ISRIC, you want to show that data to the world and to your stakeholders in a modern web map projection, or map projection in general, that creates an appropriate uh, understanding of the world, like you see here, the Wagner 7 projection. There is a caveat with this, is that we all got really hooked up to the EPSG registry, which is a great thing, and an awesome thing, but it doesn't provide codes for modern map projections. So you have to go around using these nice, very nice, modern, accurate projections, but you don't have EPSG codes. And in our case at this week, we work with map server. You have this real problem that if you don't have a, a, an EPSG code, web, uh, map server is not going to serve your data at all. So you have, first of all, you have to go over that. But yeah, but this is where open source comes into play because you can just open the hood and tinker the, uh, with the engine. And actually, it's very easy to trick map server to use a modern map projection, a modern CRS. All you need to do is to create a fake entry in the project database. And you can do it with a piece of code like this one, which is basically copying an existing record from the projected CRS table to a new record with a new, a new authority, and in this case, inserting here the EPSG authority to a CRS that is defined by someone else, in this case, ESRI. And then you go and you start coding your map file for map server, and you do everything as, as always with the trick here of using your fake EPSG code, and you're good to go. Map server is working and serving very nice WMS tiles with your preferred coordinate uh, reference system. A quick reference here to GeoServer. So the Java people have sorted out this long ago. They have been more, much more attentive to these questions. There have been a few uh, presentations in previous Phosphorgees. I would recommend it that you have a look at this that I link here uh, that was presented in Bucharest by Andrea Aime. Okay, so now let's talk about the client side. So, as I said earlier, I want the client to be as dumb as possible. I just want it to show those nice WMS tiles coming from map server. <coughs> but it's not so easy because this JavaScript world is really hooked up to, to Mercator. It's, yeah, Go, getting there. So, this is relatively easy to do once you know it. For instance, with, with Leaflet, what you do is that you, you instantiate an object uh, with one of the few that are available in the library, like in this case, the 3857, and then you um, change the content of the code property, and then in every request to the WMS service, this, w this uh, CRS identifier will be used, and everything works, and you get a very nice map like this in your leaflet client. And now Luis comes in. Yeah, so in terms of open lawyers, um, we can have something similar 
So basically what you can do here, I'm not gonna spend much time, I don't, we don't have time anymore. So basically you need to create, um, oh, this was not updated. So you need to create just one open layers projection, which is missing here, and then you apply that projection, uh, just put the code, uh, the, the PSG code, and then you apply it to, the, to your view, and the request made to the server will put the, the right code just like in Leaflet. Uh, something simple, uh, and if you apply it to the view, then all the layers will, will be requested with that EPSG code, and it'll be handled by map server. Um, if you want to try something with D3, um, there are some nice examples, you can follow that link. Uh, that is just um, using um, vectors rendered uh, using D3. Um, it's some code, uh, that works with several of these projections. I, I recommend you to have a look on, that, on those and have a look on the code, and, and that's it, basically. 